I started probably, I want to say, third, fourth grade maybe, um, at the YMCA. Um, Sarah Burnett was my coach, and throughout then, middle school started. I loved volleyball. I did tons of sports in middle school, but I figured volleyball was kind of the only one that stuck with me, really. Um, and I just, I loved it. It was my escape, and it was awesome. And then high school started. The team obviously evolved and changed many times. But I'd say my favorite year was probably my sophomore year. We had an amazing team that year. Great upperclassmen. It was just, it was a really good year. Um, and ever since then, I've just, I've stuck with it and been through some good times and bad times, like every sport. But um, volleyball, it's really motivated me and it keeps me going, honestly. I would say probably the people on the team. Um, I loved my seniors. Everyone was just very inclusive and we worked really, really, really well together as a team in general. We, it was probably the year I'd say we also worked best together. I don't know if it was just our players or just the atmosphere. I don't really know what it was, but it was probably the best teamwork we've ever had. I've learned to time manage myself, having a schedule, a to-do list. Uh, I'm the type of person that stresses a lot and like overthinks and also procrastinates. Uh, but I really do just time manage myself and just make sure all my due dates are fine. I have personal due dates, goals I set for myself throughout high school and I'm actually doing really good about that and it's also helping me for college having work volleyball and then now I'm taking a Lewis and Clark class and that's really cool and I really do like how college is like there's like only you take one class every two days of the week I really like that because you get to time manage yourself and get to do all of your homework throughout the week so I learned throughout my high school years I did, uh, I got accepted into SIU Carbondale and the only reason why I applied there is for the dental hygiene program because it's their four year program and that's the only uh, college in Illinois that has a four year dental program. So if I get picked for that dental program, I'll probably go through with that. Uh, I'm waiting to see if I do get picked for the program. Um, if I don't, then I'll probably just like finish off my gen eds for dental hygiene and then I'll just reapply next year. Me coming back from my senior year from being out from junior high volleyball, I was out for the shoulder injury. And me coming back was like the biggest challenge, I feel like. Like I didn't think it didn't expect me to come back and play volleyball again. So me doing that and doing it for my senior year, it feels really good for me to do that. Well, I mean I I kind of just like, I did other things too. I also played softball for school, so I did that too. And then I did a lot of PT. Um, I did things to keep me motivated, to at least still keep me strong and stuff like that. I could have went back last year for volleyball, but I it didn't seem like a great atmosphere and didn't want to put myself through that. Um, I would definitely say that there is a huge difference between our home and away games, but that being said, it does vary. School to school, it's obviously going to be a different atmosphere everywhere. I've noticed a lot of the schools that have super loud fan sections and student sections, we play so much better at. Even half the teams pretty much said they feed off of the fans' energies. And it just makes it, it makes a really big difference. Our home games this year, haven't been too great of turnouts. We've had some good ones, but 
I think in the years past, we've had a lot more people come and that really helps us kind of get motivated more. Um, but the away games, it really just varies between school to school. And obviously it depends day to day as well, how we all feel and what our moods are, what the team's mood is. <laughs> uh, but I think that's something we've improved with as no matter what's going on that day in our personal lives, going on the floor, being ourselves and focusing on the game has helped so much. And I think this season we've improved highly with that. Um, yeah, so. Um, I don't think we do. Uh, do we? Uh, we get in the huddle before. We do, we do. We do talk. Uh, whoever's starting out, they go in, they talk, we kind of give everyone like a good, positive motivative, motivative uh, speech or whatever yeah. to just hype us up. Uh, but I put on my, well, my personal uh, ritual, I put on my left sock and then my right sock. I don't know, I've been doing that <laughs> since middle school. It's always stuck. And if I don't do that, if I accidentally put on my right sock, I'm just going to take it off and then put on my left sock. I don't know, it's just like a lucky thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It's like not with anything, not just volleyball. I do that with everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally get it. Um, well, I think when we wear like our school colors and stuff like that to like most of our players or not our players, like our team or whatever they wear, like school gear. Um, I like when they do that. Um, Mr. Smith brings in the Minimins. I like when they do that. Yes. They come and support us. Oh yeah. I love when they do that a lot. Um, I like when the boys, some of the boys run out with the flag to yeah. also lead us. That's pretty nice. I'll start. So, um, <laughs> I also have played softball a couple years. I did cheerleading one year. That's pretty much the only extra curricular activities I've done. But I really enjoy hanging out with the little kids at the daycare I work at. Um, that keeps you young. And I know I'm still young saying that, but it really does. I mean, seeing the little kids, they make, they just, they make my day. They really do. And. Yeah, I mean, I hang out with my friends. Uh, it's senior year, so I'm just trying to enjoy everything as much as I can. Um, I just started recently going to the gym just to feel better about myself, and it's actually been really motivating, especially uh, before volleyball games. I usually go to just hype myself up and get my heart racing. And I mostly just, I don't lift any weights, or I mostly just do cardio, and it just, I really like it. And so I also feel better about myself, so that's like a new hobby I've been recently doing. Really recommend it if anyone wants to try something different. Um, well, I also do work at the daycare too, so, um, and like Maddie said, I do like seeing the smiles on the kids' faces. It makes me smile. Um, and I like seeing these other kids too, doing their sports and stuff like that, and then going there and supporting them too. Um, and then I play softball here, and I've been playing softball for like years. Um, I've been playing since I was, I want to say 13 or 14. But yeah, I've been playing for the community, and I also played on a select team. That didn't go too well, but um, I did like meeting the girls, and I have a long lost, but a long lost best friend there too. So. say do not be too hard on yourself and I know that that is so much easier said than done trust me I've been there too but getting down on yourself not only affects obviously you and your mental state but everyone else on the court as well it gets to a point where you just have to shake it off and the thing I love about volleyball is it's point by point 
So it's nothing that it can't be fixed. It really, it's that simple. For me, uh, I think making friends, bonding with the team, doing stuff together as a team, because I feel like that also encourage is uh, communication and teamwork, and I feel like it's beneficial for the team. And uh, I feel like we could really work on that this year, just being a team together, not just separate as one, working as one. Mine would be, um, my number one saying is never give up, no matter how hard it gets. I like that. And I would like for other people to keep that in their minds too.